Jeff, how do you feel about Jeff X I G Lenny Face? Hi. For all the people who still manage to don't know who I am, I'm Jeff. Mainly known as Jeff the Killer. And that's for a good reason. So I hope, like, really, that you will stop asking your dopey questions about how they say the hope dies, but it dies. First question. What would you do if a bunch of fangirls managed to kidnap you? Impossible. Question answered. Next question. I know it's a dumb question, but why did you cut a smile on your face? You know, yes, you're right. It is indeed a dumb question. So next one. Let's play f Mary Kill. You have Ben, Laughing Jack and Clockwork. What would you do? So I would kill Clockwork. And I'm still a child, so I guess I have to kill him to prevent being a pervert. Okay, so I would kill Ben. Marry Clockwork again. Oh, why am I wasting my thoughts about this anyway? It's just a stupid question. Okay, so I would kill Ben, I would f work and for heaven's sake marry Laughing Jack. But I swear to Zalgo, if this perverted clown is going to touch me, then I will be the happiest widow on earth. Jeff, how do you feel when you get called by your full name? <laughs> would be a kind of unreal situation, I guess. And I can't even remember who called me the last time like this. It feels like this name belongs to a completely different person than I am now. So, I guess it wouldn't feel like the person who's calling me Jeff... Je anyway, is referring to me. And after I realize... What kind of border this person has crossed? I would kill the one in the most painful way I could imagine of. So next one. Jeff, would you rather have a picture of Nina or Jane on the wall? <laughs> Both of them, of course. I mean, I have to remember what it's worth for to make this world the worst place to live in. I actually like this idea pretty much. And the next question. Since Leo is mentioned in every question, I'm going to ask something about only you. Jeff, would you rather kill someone you love to save yourself, or kill yourself to save someone you love? But you know who you're asking, don't you? Jeff, what do you like to read? Well, definitely not the stupid questions here, okay? Next one. Jeff, if you get thrown in prison, how would you escape? But, I know. The one and only Jeff the Killer won't get caught because you're a genius and powerful. Thank you. But why are you asking if you already know the answer? What will you do if you went to jail? Have you been there yet? Guess the person right before you is able to give you an answer here. The next question. Jeff, what do you think of people who ships you with Leo? Do you want to kill Ben for putting you and Leo in sex cuffs? Oh dear. That's far away from the only reason why I want to kill this little jerk. You know, I don't care if little kids are fulfilling, or trying at least fulfilling, their sexual desires with their perverted imagination. But Ben went a little bit too far. But who cares, since I already decided to kill this little bastard in the questions before. Hi Jeff, how are you? Will you visit me tonight? Sure I can. I think I will feel much better after spending some time with you. What do you think about Jeff the Killer fanfictions? Well, you know, the one I read a few months ago was honestly enough for my entire life, okay? Are you scared to see me today, Jeff? I'm Jane. I, I hate you for killing my family. How about no? This emoji here is truly expressing your full emotion about this tragedy, Jane. So, let's do it again and on your level. No, 
LOL. <laughs> and the last question. When you were lit on fire and your face was bleached, what were your thoughts at the moment? <laughs> Honestly, you wish you could just die as soon as possible. You can't imagine how much pain you feel at that moment. But, you know, it's even more painful. That you know that no one is there to save you. No one cares. Not even the ones who promise to always be there for you. They're all gone. But that doesn't matter right now. Just let me say, sleep tight.